Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to Lost in Spain. This is Atesh Sham and today I'm lost in Toledo. Toledo is the old capital of Spain. It's around 70 kilometers from Madrid, one hour distance, and it's one of the most popular destinations for the people who come to visit Madrid. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the main sites of Toledo. I have prepared a Google map itinerary that you can find in the description, in which I'm going to show you the easiest and the best way to see the main sites of Toledo without any hassle or problem. So let's go and see Toledo today. Friends, one of the best ways to start your sightseeing of Toledo is by coming to the Valley Viewpoint, located next to the Tajo River. But I would recommend taking a taxi because it's a bit of a walk and you don't want to get tired just in the beginning of the tour. And if you walk or if you're going with a taxi, you can stop by the Alcantara Bridge, the oldest bridge of Toledo that was founded by the Romans back in the first century. Toledo is a very popular spot near Madrid and if you are in Madrid, I totally recommend coming to Toledo. You can use public transport, there is a train station, there is a bus service also or you can even rent a car to come to Toledo. I am right now walking through the old gate known as La Puerta de Alfonso VI, the Alfon the Sixth Gate. So walking is the best way to come and visit Toledo. If you come to the train station, you can even take a taxi to the market square or if you don't mind walking, so the better way is to go walking through the gate. The Bisagra Gate from 16th century still adorns the emblem of the Holy Roman Empire, the double-headed eagle. Just a little bit ahead, you will pass in front of another gate known as La Puerta de Sol from 14th century. Friends, Toledo is located on the banks of a river known as the Taco River. If you come with the train station, the train will drop you somewhere there, that is the train station from there you come walking either through the new bridge or the old bridge on the other side you can also come with a bus that will drop you at the bus station that is that building right in front and also you can come walking till it is on a hill so you will need to walk a bit more there is even an escalator facility that place is the escalator which brings you to the higher part of the city the name Toledo actually comes from the Roman name Toletum that means located on the height. Friends, in my Google map itinerary, the starting point of your walking tour in Toledo is going to be a square known as Socodover Square. Next to the arch in this square, we have a sculpture of Miguel de Cervantes, the writer of Don Quixote de la Mancha. So the first place to start your walking tour of Toledo will be the square known as Socodover. As you can see, it's a square that is full of activity. It's a square that was founded in the medieval period and the name Sokodover comes from the Arabic name Suq al-Dawab. Suq al-Dawab means the animal market in Arabic. So what was the animal market of the city has now totally transformed into a bustling and happening place of the city. So the best way to see Toledo is actually being lost in all these back lanes of the city. So in one of the lanes, there is a small window that is considered the smallest window of Spain. There is some Arabic writing also under the window. So you can see the size of the window. <coughs> Stop number two on my walking tour of Toledo is the Mosque of Christ of the Light. Founded originally as a mosque, then converted to a church in the 11th century when the Christians came, they reconquered the city. The legend says that they found a shining statue of Christ that was called the Christ of Light. That's why the church that was founded was called the Christ of the Light. But later on it was discovered that this was really a mosque. And the Arabic verses written on the facade outside also confirm the Arabic origin of this monument. And if you go inside you see beautiful Arabic and Moorish architecture mixed with Christian motifs. <laughs> Friends, Toledo still has a lot of convents and churches which are now given different uses. One church, this one in front known as St. Vincent, is a multicultural space where you have discos, partying and all these kind of things. And one on the other side is Convento de las Galletanas, where the nuns who live, they make and sell the sweet. So this is the hidden convent door where you have to ring the bell and call to buy some sweet. Let's see.
Hola, buenos días. ¿Para comprar dulce? Ok, gracias. So this is stop number 2A on my walking tour of Toledo. If you want some sweets with the blessing, you should come here. Hola, buenos días. ¿Qué tal? Muy rico. Una caja de la pasta variada. Sí, esta. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Hasta luego. Stop number three on my walking tour is the Jesuit Order Church, also known as La Iglesia de San Ildefonso. San Ildefonso Church because it's built over the house where the local patron saint of Toledo was born, San Ildefonso. You have beautiful views from the tower on the top, so if you want to have a beautiful view and have more time, you can climb on the tower of the church also. Just next to San Ildefonso Church, you can see the beautiful facade of San Pedro Martir Convent, which is nowadays the law faculty of the University of Castilla-La Mancha. Number four on my walking tour of Toledo is perhaps the most important building of Toledo, that is La Catedral Primada de España. The Cathedral of Toledo has been the most important religious institution of Spain for many centuries. Right in front of the cathedral, you have the Archbishop's Palace, the Town Hall, and the City Court. So all the main buildings and the main powers of the city are concentrated here. Please do stop for a while in front of the cathedral and appreciate the beautiful carvings that you see all around on the main facade. And you will see the big 93 meters high tower that is famous for a big bell that weighs 18 tons. And it's known as La Gorda, the Fat Lady. But curiously, the bell is a bell that is split. To enter inside the cathedral, you have to buy a ticket that costs 10 euros. But believe me, if you want to visit only one monument in Toledo, that is this cathedral you would like to visit. The cathedral is called La Catedral de Santa Maria. And here inside the cathedral, a special chapel, the Chapel of Dissension, shows the miracle when Virgin Madonna came down from the heaven to bless the local saint known as San Ildefonso. And there is even a stone in which we have a depression that is considered the footprint of Virgin Madonna. So this is a stone with the footprint and people from all around the world, they want to come and touch and kiss this stone to feel blessed. Located in the hall just under the tower, we have what we call La Custodia de la Catedral, the monstrance of the cathedral, made up of gold and silver. It's a 16th century gold artifact that represents the body of Christ. The central part, almost 17 kilos of solid gold, was sent by Christopher Columbus, the first gold that came from America, and it was for the Queen of the Kingdom of Castilla. And apart from gold, it is studded with different kinds of precious and semi-precious stones like rubies and sapphires. So this whole thing is taken out during the procession of Corpus Christi. And people from all around the country, they want to come to see the procession just to see this Custodia de la Catedral. The main altarpiece is a wonder of Gothic architecture in Spain. Built around the Eucharistic Tower, it shows the scenes from the life of Christ. <laughs> right in front of the main altar, we have the choir made with wooden stalls. Each stall shows one scene of the Spanish Reconquest. On one side of the main chapel, we have the chapter house of the cathedral built in the 16th century during the period of Cardinal Cisnero with beautiful Gothic Mudejar architecture. Inside the chapter house, we have a series of portraits showing different archbishops of the cathedral of Toledo and beautiful paintings 
that shows the passion of Christ, the life of Virgin Madonna and the Last Judgment. Located right behind the main altar is what we call El Transparente, the transparent of the cathedral. Made in the mid-18th century work of a Spanish architect known as Narciso Tome, it was a very daring intervention to open one of the domes and bring light into the cathedral. On the eastern side of the cathedral, we have La Sacristia, the sacristy, which is like an art museum. Here inside, you have beautiful paintings from painters such as El Greco, Goya, and a beautiful vault painting painted by the Italian painter Luca Giordano. If you are short on time or don't want to buy the ticket, you can also enter the cathedral to have a limited view like a glance from the eastern gate known as La Puerta del Reloj. From here you can access the chapel dedicated to local Virgin Madonna known as La Virgen de Sagrario. After visiting the cathedral that is number four on my walking tour, we go to number five that is the Jewish quarter located on the western part of the city. This is the tower of the church called Santo Tome. And this is the church with the painting of the famous painter known as El Greco. I have the name suggest Greco. He was not a Spanish painter, he was a Greek painter. His real name was Dominikos Theotokopoulos. So it was a difficult name to remember and pronounce. That's why he was called Il Greco in Italy that became El Greco in Spain. So the painting in question here is a painting known as the Burial of the Count. It shows a miracle that happened in the church during the burial of a noble man who lived in the 13th century. But the painting was made in the 16th century when Greco lived in the city of Toledo. So this is the church. So I'm with Mamen who is telling us about the local products. Saffron de España. The Saffron de la Mancha, the saffron. Calidad de, 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 de la Mancha, mm -hmm. buena saffron. Mm, huele muy rico. Mm. Huele rico. Mm. Sí, sí, ya sí. está hecho especialmente para echar en las comidas. ¿Y esto qué son? Mazapán de Toledo, ma el más famoso en el mundo entero. Muy bien. El mazapán. Mazapán. Caramelos de violeta. Caramelos de violeta. Bodega de vinos. Ah, local wine. Vinos. Y el queso manchego. Y el queso manchego en aceite de oliva. Ah, aquí, aquí, aquí tenemos. Jamones, queso. Todos All the local, local products. So if you come to Toledo, visit the shop of Mamen in the Jewish quarter. Besides the natural product like the saffron and the local cheese, el queso manchego, Toledo is also known for its metal craft. There is a gold filigree work known as El Damasquinado, named after Damascus from where the first artisans came during the Muslim occupation of Spain. In Damasquinado work, they make beautiful gold ornaments with beautiful filigree designs. And then the steel objects of Toledo are also very popular. You can buy items like pocket knives, kitchen knives, scissors, daggers, swords and full armors. And the ceramic from a town known as Talavera de la Reina, that is a town of Toledo, is also world famous. 5B on my walking tour of Toledo is a synagogue known as Sinagoga del Transito. Constructed in the 14th century, it's one of the most beautiful examples of Mudejar architecture. And nowadays, this synagogue houses the Museum of the Sephardic Culture. The Sephardic people are the Jews who lived in Spain until they were expelled in the late 15th century. The whole Jewish quarter of Toledo is decorated with four symbols of the Jewish culture made with ceramic. They are Sepharad, Chai, Menorah and the Star of David. This is the 5C on my walking tour of Toledo is the second synagogue of Toledo known as Santa Maria la Blanca. Built in the 12th century as a synagogue, it was later converted into a church. That's why the Christian name Santa Maria 
Later, it served as a warehouse, a shelter for the poor and homeless, a military barrack, and a hospital also. Number six on my walking tour of Toledo is the monastery known as Monasterio de San Juan de los Reyes, built in the late 15th century during the rule of Queen Isabel la Católica. After visiting the monastery, we will continue our way towards the other side of the city where we have a bridge San Martín, and that is the end point of a walking tour in Toledo. So friend, I have crossed the city from east to the west and I've reached the bridge known as El Puente de San Martín, St. Martin's Bridge. This is a bridge that was made in the 14th century. Till the 14th century, there was actually only one bridge in Toledo. That is a bridge on the other side, on the eastern side of the city, known as the Alcantara Bridge. So if you do the walking itinerary that I have just mentioned, you will cross the city from east to west. And this is where you will finish your walking itinerary of the city. So then after you finish your sightseeing of Toledo, call a taxi or you can walk also. But if you are in a hurry, you don't want to walk a lot or if you're already very tired, just call a taxi, ask the taxi to take you to the viewpoint, the viewpoint on the valley. And from that viewpoint, you have the best view of Toledo. You can also do the viewpoint in the beginning. That's also a nice way to start the sightseeing of the city. So if you're here in Madrid, please do come to visit Toledo. That is in fact a very important city in the history of Spain. I hope you enjoyed my tour of Toledo. That's what I try to show to the guests who are here to visit Toledo. Of course, you can be here for a couple of days and you can still discover a lot of things. This is what I tried to show you in one morning. So please keep in touch. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel and I'll bring you some more things about Spain. Till then, hasta luego, bye bye.